Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, December 14th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will be moving around and changing. That's because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stocks number one, ticker symbol CC, CC did this one yesterday and wow, it just got that much more explosive today. Drew in this pattern right here, but you can see uh, the price wasted no time, actually gapped above. Uh, the pattern right there opening 30 minutes big green candle and then from there just continue to grind higher and higher so all things considered very very impressive day going to go ahead and just delete these lines out as they serve, serve their purpose for now and i'm going to put in a newer level uh, from at least what stands out to me and i think might be relatively uh, relevant moving forward from a, a support standpoint and that is that tread line right there uh, so keep an eye on that now don't get me wrong if the price falls below that level that doesn't mean the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that but if the price can stay above there that would certainly make the chart look the healthiest from the big picture point of view the level of support that matters the most is a purple line down here the 50 period moving average keyword being moving so as time goes by that line is going to move itself higher and higher so in other words it's basically like a tread line that's going to draw itself for you so as long as the price remains above the tread line from you know that purple area right there then the overall trend is still plenty in the bulls favor in terms of levels of resistance nothing complicated here at all literally just a question of where did the party and momentum finally stopped today and that was right up there at about 605 so 605 public enemy number one moving forward but all in all very very impressive day Next one here, ticker symbol AVTX, massive volume today and a very, very nice pattern. So as I draw this pattern, please realize I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to apply this to some sort of great discovery or anything like that. I assure you a lot of people have drawn this pattern or something very slimmer to it. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same areas and wondering the same things, call it a self fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movements. And what we have here, let me change it to one color to make it hopefully easier to see. So we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the huge move up right there. And then for you golfers out there trying to make it a little bit more visual, put the golf hole down here. This would be a bull pennant pattern. So while nothing is guaranteed, is it valid? Is it plausible to think? Even if you want to just call it a self-filling prophecy that if the price comes up here and breaks up through that level, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure, that is certainly a plausible outcome. Again, not guaranteed to happen, but no, no doubt a more than reasonable conclusion. So if you like bull pennants, you like penny stocks, certainly keep an eye on this one. Next one here, ticker symbol M-A-R-A. -A. Very, very impressive recovery to think that not that long ago, this thing was sitting down here at these lows. And now a couple of days later, this thing has absolutely exploded back upwards. And now we have a very, very interesting dynamic here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this level now. Um, and that's gonna be this area right up here of resistance at 1680, which again, as I just talked about, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to imply that this is some sort of special discovery. I assure you a lot of people have noticed that level. So once again, it brings in that talking point of potential self-fulfilling prophecies, meaning if the price can come up here and get the break up through there, then that break in of itself could very well create that much more buying pressure. Because again, looking here, you can see that it's, it's very clear that that's where the price has struggled, including today. So if the price can get back up there and get, you know, to use the jargon, a technical breakout, then you're going to have technical breakout traders potentially buying, hence the, you know, the, uh, that self-fulfilling prophecy that could very well take place. In terms of levels of support, going to go ahead and bring this level up. And, you know, on a deeper pull back here, right around the 1570 mark is interesting. But I think the most interesting dynamic by far is all about 1680 and whether or not the price can break above it over the next couple of days. So let's see what happens. Next one, NKLA, and nice mover here, and this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched past videos, but if you have, then you know that I've talked about this one here and symbolize and talking about how potentially the price in the chart now is symbolizing that maybe some sort of bottom is forming, and today definitely got a nice move up. Now, if there's gonna be some sort of full-blown reversal, then yes, there, there's a lot more work that needs to be done. But as far as from a trading standpoint is concerned, very, very nice upwards move here. And now moving forward, I would just call this level here at 75 cents, a very important level. So when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support, especially in this situation. Why so? And I'm not saying this will occur, but for explanation's sake, if the price were to come down here and then break down below there, what would that be doing to the price? That would quite literally be putting the price right back in this range that it just broke out from. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements with genuine strength are not going to go back to where they were. We're on the flip side of things, because to be fair, nothing can go straight up. But if the price were to come down here, behave like that, and then curl back upwards, now all of a sudden, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here, you'd have these lows down here, and if you envision each of those as stair steps, overall, you'd still have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction, and that's what you ultimately wanna see. 
in terms of levels of resistance. Nothing fancy here, just that question of where did the party finally stop today? And that was right up there at the 82 cent mark. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, no doubt about it. Very, very nice breakout today. Not just all about showing those signs of progress moving forward. Next one here, AMC. And this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched past videos. But if you did watch past videos and specifically remember me talking about that area of support right there, a huge congratulations if you actually nibbled on some down here because you can see the price did a fantastic job. I mean, the power of technical charts. Great example there. Uh, now, was it perfect? No, but I mean, it was still well within the range and then got a very, very nice late day move. So for anybody that did nibble down there, uh, a big congratulations to you. You got a fantastic move. Uh, and moving forward here, I'm going to actually get a little get rid of that level because once again, 673 is a very important level of support. Why so? Well, let, what we just talked about, nice move up. The last thing you want to see the price do is go back to where it was. And anywhere down below that 673-ish area is putting the price essentially right back in this range where it was. And you just heard me say all that, so I won't repeat myself. But that's the overall idea behind there. You want to see progress. And in this situation, quote unquote progress being defined as right around 673. In terms of areas of resistance, two main levels to watch. First one is going to be the, the near-term level, that pink line there, uh, the famous 200-period moving average, and the next one is going to be that trend line up there. In fact, I need to go and let me get this extended out here so to keep it in picture. So there we go. Keep an eye on that. That's more so the overarching level, but no doubt about it. Very, very nice move today. Very, very nice bounce. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then certainly get signed up for the free live class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. Or if you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the web page that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live online class. Next one here, ticker symbol SOFI. And uh, going to go ahead and state the, well, hopefully the obvious. Huge straight up move, big volume down here. Now, yes, the Fed had all their uh, discussions today and uh, SOFI clearly liked what the Fed had to say. So now we have to uh, scroll back quite a bit of ways in the charts history. In fact, let's do this. Let's go. Oh, wow. There we go. We are on the daily chart now, meaning each one of these candlesticks actually represents a day. So right there are going to be the next key level of resistance up there at $9.20. A good problem to have when you have to go from the 30 minute all the way to the daily time frame because you got to look this far back. I mean, we're talking about highs that have not been seen since back there in September. So 920, that next level uh, of resistance to keep an eye on. We will go back here to the 30 minute time frame and that way I can talk about more so the near term levels of support. But from a pullback standpoint, which is going to seem kind of crazy, but that just shows how explosive today's move was. 845, essentially the, the first key level of support. Again, I understand what are you talking about? That level way down there. Well, yeah, but that's kind of the catch 22 when you have price movements that just go straight up like this. So if there is any sort of pullback, 845 will be the main level there. But all in all, monster move, monster volume. So we'll see if this momentum carries into Thursday. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And a, a familiar talking point here that we have in terms of levels of support and why they're important. And right here, 233.75 is the important level because that's going to be our, we'll call our progress area. Meaning if the price comes down there and drops below it, then you've heard me say it a couple of times now, well, that would all of a sudden be putting the price right back to where it was, which we now know is not the sign of any sort of genuine power. So in terms of what would be the level that's quote unquote showing progress, again, that would be right there at the 233.75-ish mark. So keep an eye on that as being an important level of support for those reasons. In terms of levels of resistance, we once again have that purple line rearing its head as an area of resistance. So uh, actually a, a relatively big upper shadow there at that level of resistance does not mean that it can't recover, uh, but you know certainly a lot of profit taking hit it after it got up around that uh, 200 period moving average. But nonetheless, that'll be the main area of resistance moving forward. But anyway, look at it. Very, very nice recovery. I mean, it was a rough start today for Tesla. Recovered nicely. Now let's see if it can show progress by staying above 233.75. Next one, ticker symbol STTK, and I like this one quite a bit as it just gives a very well-defined level, which again, I'm not trying to impress you. You gotta think a lot of people are watching this 464 mark as this is the top part of this sideways consolidation that has occurred. But the location of the sideways location makes it interesting because yeah, today, start off very nice, price ran all the way up there and then started to pull back. And for those of you that have traded for a long enough time, when things start to pull back, it becomes very valid to throw out the question, uh-oh, is this the beginning of the end? Because if you have traded long enough, then you, I'm sure you've seen stocks that gap up and then they just continue down, continue down, continue down. But that was not the case here. The price did level off. And in fact, now it's starting to work its way back upwards. Now, does that mean for sure guaranteed this thing is going to go back up to those highs? No, there are no guarantees. But is it a whole lot more valid at this point in time 
to suggest that this pullback is over and that this thing might want to curl back upwards. Yes, that is way more reasonable given the prices demonstrated by going sideways. And now, like I said, the upwards angle here that maybe this uh, pullback is over and this thing wants to potentially head back up to these highs and maybe even go higher. So a nice big start pullback sideways movement slight upwards move well-defined breakout point so we'll see how it plays out on thursday next one here rsls and same general idea here not quite the same but you got a pattern here that i think is, is worth whoops wrong line there we go that is worth pointing out so we have the lower part of the pattern which i would call our support and then we also have The resistance right there and let me just change it to the same color to hopefully make it easier to see so we have our resistance we have our support we have the nice upward move right here so whether you want to call that a bull pennant or a bull flag you pick whatever term you want but the idea here is that yes there was a very nice upwards move the price did run all the way up to here and then it started to pull back so yes there is a pullback right now but you know to, to consider that this pullback is still well above where it was that's what's given us this bull pattern where no guarantees, but would it be you know plausible to think that if the price can come up here and get a break up through that top part of the pattern, that that could create additional buying pressure? In my mind, uh, that is certainly a plausible conclusion. So if you like these sorts of patterns, you like penny stocks, certainly keep an eye on it. Next one here, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ market. So if you believe that the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to go up, this one will also go up and it may, it's one of the more popular ETFs out there. And yeah, the Fed came out, they announced all their stuff and the NASDAQ market really liked what it heard. Therefore, this one really liked what it heard as it had a big explosive afternoon and some updates need to be made from the technical standpoint. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that. First update, which actually played out very nicely here, is just based on the rule and chart in which states when levels of support, or excuse me, resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. And that's essentially what happened here. Gap up, price came down, now it didn't hit that line exactly, but I think we can all agree, got very, very close, and then from there, up it went. So moving forward, $47 is gonna be that ideal level of support, meaning you know, that would make the chart look the healthiest moving forward. But from the grand scheme of things, as long as the price remains above that purple line, which you now know is that 50 period moving average. So as that line moves itself higher and higher, as long as the price is above there, then as far as I'm concerned, the overall trend is still plenty bullish. Now, what about areas of resistance? Well, in this situation, we can throw out the question, okay, where did the party finally stop today? And that was right up there at 49.10. But after 49.10, and let's go to the daily time frame. Actually, let's just go to the weekly. So I don't have to squeeze down as far. There we go. So after this level right here, now when I say weekly, I mean instead of each one of these representing 30 minutes, each one represents an entire week. But I'm just doing this so we don't have to you know, scroll back so far in the charts history. But after this level of resistance right there, next one up there right around $50.35. So we'll go back to the 30 minute here. And you know those will be the next key levels here. So it's 49.10 and then up there at $50.35. But all in all, very, very impressive move today. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here and you want to learn more, then certainly go get signed up for that free web class. It'll be very soon, Thursday, December 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please do a couple things for me. Hit the like button, leave a comment below. Tell me what you traded today. Tell me what your watch list is for tomorrow. But those th couple things really help out the channel and I appreciate you uh, doing that in advance and thank you in advance. So get signed up for that class. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below and also let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.